Hi, I'm John DeGaspers. I'm a personal injury lawyer in upstate New York. In this video, I'm going to discuss what happens after you agree to a settlement and how quickly will you get your money. And remember, if you get into an accident or if you're injured due to someone else's negligence, give me a call. Yes, a substantial majority of my personal injury cases settle before trial. In fact, most of my clients never step foot in a courthouse. So once you settle, the law says that you have to sign and execute a release. Once you provide that written release to the defendant or to the insurance company, they have 21 days to pay. However, unless it's a super straightforward case, you rarely get the money in 21 days. It usually takes between 30 and 45 days on basic cases, more complex cases involving huge injury profiles, uh, big settlements. Often there are liens and things that have to be resolved. So the answer to the question is, it really depends on the circumstances. It varies wildly. It could take six months before you get your money. Sometimes more, that's a very rare situation, but I usually tell my clients between 30 and 60 days. So most often the settlement check is issued by the insurance company, is made out to the law firm that represents the plaintiff, and it is made out also to the plaintiff. So it says the law firm and the plaintiff on one check, and that is to protect both sides. The lawyers can't run away with the money without the client knowing, and the, the client can't run away with the money without the lawyers knowing. So we both endorse it. We will stamp it with a depo for deposit only. Uh, the client endorses, it goes into our escrow, and we typically tell the client that it takes four or five days for the money to clear, sometimes longer for bigger checks and then we issue the settlement funds to the client from our escrow account. So the client will get a check from our escrow account for his or her portion of the recovery. We will take our fee in one check. We take our costs and disbursements back in a separate check. We do that so that there is total transparency about the way the money is flowing. And most typically we will pay liens out of the escrow account for the client so that that is done and then they get copies of all the checks issued and they also get a closing statement. So a closing statement is a written summary of all of the financial elements of a personal injury case. Clients have access to this closing statement throughout the litigation. Uh, if you ask for it before there's a resolution, it's just gonna show all the costs and disbursements. But the closing statement at the top says the case name, then it says the total resolution amount, whether settlement, verdict, or otherwise. It takes out a deduction for the fee, and then it will take out the deduction for the costs and disbursements, and it actually lists every cost and disbursement to the penny. And then there's the, client, the balance. If there are no liens, the balance goes to the client, and it's a super easy, transparent document. If there are liens, the liens are also listed there to the exact amount. And then at the bottom is a listing of all checks issued against the settlement. It's a very transparent process. There are never questions. It's that clear. Great news, the IRS has said that personal injury settlements are not taxable events. You don't even have to report it. So costs and disbursements are events or items where the lawyer expends money on behalf of the client. So you have to remember, we just work at a flat contingent fee, right? So our fee doesn't change depending on how much mo time or money we spend on a case. That remains constant. But the costs and disbursements are items where we have to write a check for the client. So common examples of a cost or disbursement ordering medical records, the fees associated with filing a lawsuit in the court system, experts, um, production of medical illustrations or animations, um, other things might include 
uh, just special items that are necessary to prosecuting that client's case, private investigator work, and you know, accident reconstructionists, things like that.